What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. I'm the French Fry King. And it's been a couple days. The last time I recorded was Thursday. And I didn't record anything yesterday because I simply just wanted to take a little break. We actually have mail right here, so let's talk to Mailtoad right here. Give us mail, Mailtoad. Mr. Mario! Check it out! I'm a mail toad, and I have a letter for you! Oh. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but it's alright because I'm here coming to rescue me. Yes, I hope this gift will come in handy from Peach. Princess Peach included five one-ups in her letter. Would you like them now? Uh, yes I would. Yeah, so this is the way that they basically make up for you having to have your lives reset after each time you turn off the system. They just um, give you five extra one-ups when from Nail Toad. So, you can always just go up to nine one-ups right away. So, like I said, took a little break from recording. Just a one-day break because I was, recording a little I was recording consistently and I felt like it was okay for me to take a break. Um, there, I already got the secret star. Secret star here, that's right. I gotta go here and do the secret star. There's um, a hungry Luma in this level. We have to go feed him. And okay, it's right here. So we have to go feed him and then he'll give us a launch star and we'll go and do that one there. Other than that, that's all we have to do. There is one other kind of star that we need to collect, but I'm pretty sure we can't collect that until much later on in the game. And uh, any of you that have played through this game before know exactly what I'm talking about. But unfortunately, we cannot do that right now. It's not until much later in the game. Like, pretty much the end. It basically is the end of the game. So we'll worry about that once we complete all, pretty much all the levels and stuff like that at the end of the game, pretty much. So the Hungry Luma, he's right here. And I believe he worked wants like 50 star bits so we're gonna have to go searching and we can go all around inside this place and find star bits and then once we have enough then we can come over here and actually talk to him and my cat Theo is just walking around on the screen like he was walking in front of the sensor bar so my pointer went away and I couldn't actually point at the screen because he was standing right in front of the sensor bar <laughs> I don't know why he does that but alright let's kill these enemies and we'll kick them and collect the star bits that they let go of. Another thing I want to say is that we won't have any chicken nuggets videos up today because my brother Darius is out of town right now. He's in Tennessee. So he won't be able to be here and record videos with me, obviously. And he won't be back until, like, um, midnight. So... Because of that, we can't actually record anything. And that's why I'm actually uploading a video right now. Because we can't upload anything on Chicken Nuggets right now. We don't have anything pre-recorded. So, to make up for that, that's why I'm recording the video. We have 50 Star Bits, but let's collect these right here as well. Let's kill this Goomba. Let's collect it. And then collect the Star Bits that hit Let's Go of. Now let's go feed that Hungry Luma. Let's find a way out. Let's not go into the where the warp star is. I don't remember where the way out is. Now that's the star. The launch star. Warp star. This isn't Kirby. Where's the exit? Where is it? No, oh, not right here. This one? No. Where is it? I don't know where it okay, here it is. And now let's go to the Hungry Luma. Now, where are you? Okay. There you are. So let's talk to him right now. We should have enough. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 50 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. Oh, I just missed some. Good thing we collected more than 50. Because, <laughs> like I said before, if you miss any star bits, then he actually... Um, doesn't catch them at all. So it transforms. Creates a little planet over here. Yoshi! It's Yoshi! Let's fly over there. And as you see, 
there's a whole bunch of Goomba pimples on Yoshi's face, so we're gonna have to fix that. And is there any um rainbow? I thought there was a rainbow star over here, but apparently not. You gotta do this the old-fashioned way, just jumping on enemies, just like Mario has always done his whole life. Except this time he can spin and <laughs> jump on them at the same I don't know why this is a Yoshi planet. Mm. Oh, okay, you almost killed me. You don't actually get anything from these enemies, so you don't want to get hurt by them. Because they won't give you any coins to heal yourself. And um, if you can jump on a certain amount at the same time, then your like score goes up or something like that. It's not that the numbers pop enough. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happens when you do um, hit them a certain amount of times. Like, I only got like three there. So, um, if any of you know actually know what happens if you land on them a certain amount of times, so then let me know because I'm very curious about what does happen. Let's step on you. Step on you. And then now they're all dead. And here's the star. So it's a fairly easy star to collect. Um, my nunchuck is messing up again. Let's collect the star. And while we're already six minutes in, we might have enough time for one more star. I actually think we're going to the boss battle now. So we're going to finish this um, dome. We'll be heading on to the next dome in, in the next episode. Yeah. See how fast we can complete the boss. Yoshi's unexpected appearance. It was very unexpected. I didn't expect to find Yoshi there. Not save. Go up here. Back. Yep. All right, boss time. Bowser's Star Reactor. So, as I mentioned in the very first boss battle that we did in this game, like the first final boss of the dome anyway, in the terrace, we fought Bowser Jr.'s like mega leg thing. Like I said in that episode, we, we switch off from each dome from fighting Bowser and Bowser Jr. So we faced Bowser Jr. last time, so we're going to be facing Bowser. This is the first out of the... Um, I'm not sure exactly how many domes there are, but there's this is the first out of a few or many Bowser fights. And this has the same music as the Bowser fights in Super Mario 64. So it was a cool little thing that they decided to add to take us back to the good old Super Mario 64 days. Well, this were these were still the good old Mario um Galaxy days as well. But I wanna watch out for this fire thing right here. I already hit the fire bar. Oh! Okay. I thought he was gonna squish me. So here we have little gravity floor things again. Make sure you don't fall into that black hole down there, or you'll die. Go up here. And you basically just need to stay in the area of the gravity away from come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wouldn't move! No! What? How did that happen? Come on. No, no! Come on. Alright, we're wasting time here. We gotta hurry up. Alright. Okay, slam down. Now, fire, go away. Go away, fire. Go, go. Alright, thank you. Now, let's not die this time. What? I don't understand how this is happening. But, I didn't think that you would die from simply jumping onto the thing before the platform gets there. Guess I gotta wait until the platform gets there, sorry. Um, forbid me from trying to finish the level eat faster. Alright, come on platform, get over here. I really don't understand why that happened. Um, it's kind of dumb, actually. Come on, hurry up, I don't want to get burned by the fire again. Alright. There we go. Not dying this time. Oh, I'm not gonna worry too much about the star bits because we want to finish this battle as fast as possible. Because we got about like five minutes, thirty seconds to finish the boss battle. That's a fire bar. All right, touch that one. Why is there so many fire bars? I got burned by one. And here's Bowser. Things at us because that's what he does. Oh, he's spitting fire rocks at us. I didn't know. Alright, 
there we go. We got that mushroom right there that gives us six life instead of three. And I, once one thing, I don't understand why they were reduced it to six life or three life in this game. I mean, you can get that one, that mushroom that has, gives you up to six for like boss battles and stuff like that. But normally you only have three. And in Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine, you had more than that. But whatever. You finally made it. Just in time for me to stomp you into space pits. Um, I hate to break it to you, Bowser, but you're not going to be doing that because I'm going to wreck you. So basically, how these boss fights go, these Bowser fights, you basically want him to land on this blue thing when he jumps up in the air and try not to get hit by him like I just did. And then once he runs around because it's, he got burned, you just spin into him. I actually hit my little thing that my stand at my laptop is on right now. You want to spin into him and then he's on the ground and then you want to spin into him again and then gets hurt. And then he goes and he does this jump move where he makes like this these like blue wave things in that you and they shock you so you so, there he goes he falls into the and I believe he makes a wave thing as well and he like, lands on the ground well, on the other side heck no. there we go now he's actually spinning around the entire stage that's two times. It only takes three times to actually defeat him. So, let's defeat him without getting hit again. Because this fucking boss fight's not that hard. So. Oh, he's got three wave things now. I land on that thing, go. And I'll go over there. Spin into him. Spin into him again, and you gotta spin into him one last time. And then he's done. And that is how you defeat Bowser. And later on we'll fight him again. And he'll get some more moves and stuff like that. And become more difficult. But right now he was really easy. And since his plan is too far along now. You think you can stop me? Yes, you can. I mean, we've already gotten back like a good quarter of the Power Stars. so Or not necessarily a quarter, but pretty close to it. So I think that we can easily take you down, and let's collect this Grand Star right now. So this is the second Grand Star that we have collected, or this is the third one, sorry. We collected the first one in the very first level, and we collected the second one after we defeated Mega Leg. So this is the third Grand Star. And so, again, Mario learns how to fly whenever there's a star around, but then as soon as the star goes away, like, look. Look, once the star goes in there, he's on the ground. So, he boosts the power to fly once the star goes away. So we now have a new part of the observatory that is open. We only have three um, Grand Stars left to collect. And we have the Kitchen Dome that is now open. Which means more stars and more galaxies to go to. The galaxy complete, of course, because there's only one star there. And we discover a new galaxy. Discovered four new galaxies actually. There's only one galaxy that we haven't discovered in there. We've collected all the stars that we can collect up to this point. We've rescued another grand star, and the power has returned. And the power has returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm. But I still don't think we have the power stars we need to fly to the observatory. Of course we don't. We only have like 27 out of 26, 27 out of all 120. So of course we don't. We actually don't need all 120 to actually go to the final boss fight. Well, let's actually not save right now, because I'm in the middle of recording. So yeah, we still have, like, a whole bunch of stars to collect with it. So, of course we don't have enough yet. But thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified of whenever we release new videos and find more content and stuff like that. Make sure to share the video with others, because that helps out. And get more people on Team French Riking. That's always good. So in the next episode, we will actually be heading into the kitchen, which is right here. But you guys don't get to see it in this episode. So again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.